Hi, Connie. I'm Norman Bodick, and I thank you very much for asking me to come up with maybe a five-minute video to explain what is lean. What's the purpose of lean? Why should you get involved in lean? Just because everybody else is doing it doesn't mean that you should do it. But it is wonderful. It, it is magical. And it is simple. That's the important thing to recognize. It's simple. Yes, I teach at Portland State University. I teach lean. And I have 33 Toyota tools that I teach. But believe me, they're all not necessary. What is necessary is to understand that lean is an all-out war on waste. Lean is the most effective and the efficient way to do business. Toyota came up with this idea of lean or just-in-time, or they called it the Toyota production system. They, they probably came up with it in, in the 1960s, and it came from two people, Taichi Ono, who was vice president of production at Toyota, and Dr. Shikeo Shingo, who was an independent consultant. And what they noticed, both of them, is that something is called the timeline. How long does it take to, to make a car? Well, in 1980, I bought a Buick. I didn't want to buy it off the showroom. I wanted something built specifically for me, the color, seats, etc. It took me 13 weeks to get the car. Well, a few weeks later, I went to Japan, and I found out that if you went to a Toyota sales office and ordered exactly what you wanted one week later you could pick up the car so how could <laughs> Toyota do it in one week and it took General Motors 13 weeks because what they looked at we call the timeline now what are we doing in business in business we're adding value we're adding value we're converting raw material to finished goods. We're delivering services that the customer really wants to pay for. But there are many things that we do that the customer doesn't want to pay for, which we call waste. And that waste could be excess inventory. It could be waiting time. It could be the wrong motion. It could be the wrong process. It could be moving things, transporting things, etc. To me, the worst waste is the underutilization of people's talent. How do you get started in this? Well, it's to first decide what is waste to you. What, did you. what are you trying to accomplish? You look at your culture the way it is. Define the way your culture is. This is the way we do business. This is the way pe what people do when they come to work. Find out, are they happy doing what they're doing? Are they self-reliant? Are they motivated? Are they excited to come to work every day? Is Monday the best day of the week? Look at your culture, and then you say to yourself, what stands in the way of us really getting a great culture? What's standing in the way from people really loving their job? Why do people really are afraid to, they're afraid to come to work, they're afraid to get fired? I love a new company that I'm looking at, it's called Mirai. Mirai Industries makes electrical and plumbing products. And the president of Mirai, Mr. Yamada, was so unique. He said, number one, I want everybody in my company to be self-reliant. What does that mean? When it comes to a decision, you make it, he said. Don't ask me for permission. Don't ask your boss for permission. You know your job better than anyone else. I trust you. You do it. There's a word in Japan called horenso. Horenso means report uh, and communicate. Average co the average company in Japan does a renso. You want to do something new, you got to talk to somebody. You got to talk to your fellow compatriots, your fellow workers. You got to talk to your fellow boss before you do anything. Mr. Yamada says, no. No, you know your job the best. You do it. Yes, you might make a mistake, but learn from your mistake. Don't repeat your mistakes, but it's okay to make mistakes. I trust you to make the right decision for this company. I'll be having that book out in a few months, and it's an amazing book because it's all based upon self-reliance, trusting people, that the people have the best interest in, in the company, for the company. He has over a thousand people, and he's never lost any money in over 40 years. Lean is not complicated. You define what waste is to you. 
You're in the medical field. It's a little bit different than making automobiles. So sit down, look at Toyota's waste, and define what waste is. Do you trust people? Are people filled with fear? Are they self-reliant? Can they make decisions on their own uh, in, in, in the company? What kind of a company do you want? And then go after it. Anytime you want, pick up the phone and call me. I'm very happy to talk to you. Good luck, all of you. Thank you very much. Bye.